In this video, we will show you how to use the Propac MD for the use of non-invasive transcutaneous pacing. Identify the patient rhythm and decide if pacing is indicated. The rhythm displayed is a third degree AV block, also referred to as a complete heart block. With the defibrillation pads and limb leads applied to the patient, press the pacer button. The pacer setting menu appears. Using your toggle keys, you are able to select the demand or fixed pacing mode. Also using your toggle keys, select and confirm the rate you would like to pace the patient at. We will then go down to the start pacer setting and begin pacing. At this time, we will now increase our output of milliamps until we have enough energy to reach the desired set rate. When the proper amount of milliamps is reached, this is known as capture. 100% capture is confirmed by a blue line with the letter P appearing before each EKG complex. When the minimum milliamps are found in order to obtain capture, increase the milliamp setting to 10% above your minimum setting. In this scenario, 70 milliamps were required to obtain capture. We will set our milliamps above the minimum requirement of 70 to 80 milliamps. You are now pacing the patient. This concludes the demonstration on how to use non-invasive transcutaneous pacing with the Propac MD.